Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called Dashware that allows you to create video overlays for your GoPro videos that can show speed and track data, all sorts of things. So let's jump into it. The first thing you want to do is get this app called Track Addict. You're going to download it, open it up. This is on Android. It'll uh, prompt you to turn on the location, so you want to turn that on. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to record. We're going to just hit record now. And now what this does is it just waits for movement. As soon as I start backing up, it's going to register and it's going to start counting. So now we're recording the data and we're ready to go. Now that you've uh, captured your data uh, on your phone, you're going to go back to your phone, uh, go back to Track Addict. Uh, you're going to hit Sessions, and then you're going to find which one um, that you just recorded. So this will be my most recent one. And then there's this little, there's two files in here. Um, there's a staging one, which is like the beginning of it. So if you look at this. <clears throat> This is basically me backing up, backing out of the spot. And then we start going. Here's the next one. And then we really start going. So what's cool about this is you can see up here, uh, up at the top, um, it shows the speed. In the middle of the screen, it shows the map where you were and you can follow it. Uh, so what you're going to want to do after you play around with this a little bit, um, it doesn't, the data doesn't do you much good on, on your phone, um, so what we'll do is we'll go back here and we'll uh, hit share and then <clears throat> just to, uh, you can, it's going to depend on if you want to connect your phone to your computer, I'm going to send the raw data and just put it in my Dropbox. Well, now that you have all your data from your phone, what you're going to want to do is open up Dashware. And if this doesn't open up, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, we'll start with a new project. Uh, we'll want HD template. Um, we'll call it Dashware View. And okay. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is add the video file. So go to wherever you saved your video. All right, so that's imported. Um, next thing is the data file. So you're going to go here, find where you put the data. This is where I put mine. And then hit add. As you can see, it already pulls in the track addict um, file type or profile. So we'll add that. All right. The next thing is um, synchronizing the video. If you play it now, um, it's not going to be synced up. See, it says I'm going 13 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour here. So the next step is to synchronize the video. And how to do that is you'll click, you'll click uh, synchronization right up here. Okay. So the first thing, now that we're in the synchronization tab, is uh, there's two views here. So here's obviously the video that you recorded, and here's your data view. Um, so you can see it, we went around the circle. Uh, I have information here. Um, so the first thing is going to hit here, sync with video. We're going to unclick that. Um, and now this is where the tricky part is. You're going to have to kind of play around with this yourself. And then we'll also look at this. If you hit play over here, it shows you the little dot of where you start receiving data. I'm going to try and match up um, where I start going forward. So here's me backing out of the spot and then right about... Here is where we go forward. Um, so that's going to be the point that I I uh, match to in the video. So that was the first one back. The next step forward here is it going forward. So I'll do one step back. And then over here, I'll get to that point, put it in park. So now we're and recording the forward. Um, so then once you're in the right spot here, in the right spot here, We'll hit sync with video, 
and uh, then we'll just kind of see if it works. Where we're going to look to see, we're, we'll see the speed up here. Um, this we don't need. Uh, data. So we're now ready it's to go. recording data on this. We can see the dots here. We can pause it. So we're just getting to the circle. It's nice to have this kind of landmark. So let's see. It's about halfway through. Go all the way up. Get to the point up here. And we're a little off. So the point here is not pretty much in the center up here. I mean, it's pretty close, probably not going that much different. Um, so we can just go a step back. That's probably where we are right now. So now if we hit sync, that should work. Yeah, that's pretty perfect there. Coming out of the bend. So we're just matching it, so you're gonna have to play with it a little bit. Uh, right here is where we enter the circle, right here, and right here. So that's I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it makes sense, it looks like we're going here, we're going around the circle. Yeah, that's good, that's pretty synced up. Once you get that down, um, you can play around with adding some more things like this, so that's what we'll get into next. So after you sync your data with your video, um, what you can do now is you can go to the gauge toolbox and you can add a bunch of things. Um, so let's say I wanted a map, a little view of, what, of the track or whatever I was on. Let's put that in there. Uh, let's put in let's put in some nice speed. Let's go with the flames. Green flames. Nice. Uh, let's throw the GoPro logo in here. And this is really nice. It's really easy to use. It's all just kind of drag and drop. Um, you can resize everything however you want. And now if you hit play, Hold all it. these things will be working together. Board. Or you can just hit the, the back button. button. So we're driving around the circle. You can see the little red triangle come around here. We'll see my speed's a little between 10 and 50 miles an hour. Over here we have the exact number. Um, it's really nice. Uh, you can put in as much stuff as you want. Obviously if it's limited to what the data you collect. So for this I recorded um, the speed my GPS location and the altitude. Uh, if I had a Formula One car or something like that, uh, you can record other data and see all that kind of stuff, get your pitch. Um, it's not going to show anything for the data you don't have. Um, so that's pretty much it for this section. You can add as much stuff as you want. You can delete as much stuff as you want. Um, really nice. You can download more gauges if you want more. Um, and I think you can kind of tweak the colors and things like that. If you skydive or anything, you go scuba diving, even. Um, there's air speed, uh, there's like G forces, all sorts of stuff. So it's a really nice tool. Um, adds a, a nice little, um, kind of a nice touch to your videos. I personally like, let's see here, I like these, the corner gauge. So that's it for the uh, toolbox section. Once you're done editing your video and everything's all set, you have all the cool stuff you want inside, um, the last thing you're going to want to do is save your video and save it as a video file. So you're going to go up to File, um, you're going to hit Create Video or Control Shift C, and you can name it, um, that's the file name. Uh, you're going to leave this, I would leave this as 1920, 1080p. It just depends on what you want to, um, how you want to save it as. Uh, the frame rate's fine. It's kind of like whatever you recorded at, really, which I recorded at 1080p and 30 frames a second on the GoPro. Um, we'll save it in videos dashware. That is fine. You can leave all this the same. It'll create the video. 
and then you'll kind of get a little bar up here um, telling you how long it should take. So this was about a three minute video and let's see it's estimating around 10 minutes so it might take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to export basically. Once you're done with that you can throw it in Premiere Pro, Final Cut, uh, iMovie, wherever you want and then edit it further. Um, so that's pretty much the tutorial here. Um, once it's saved you'll go to the file the location that you saved the video and then you can open it and view it.